Thanks for having me. Hi. For this year's International Women's Day, we conducted a little experiment and asked some of our male employees to answer a couple of questions and recorded their answers. Like, which camera is filming? What's going to happen here? Questions. Are you ready? Yes, born ready. I'm ready. Show us your outfit today. Okay, great. I have white sneakers with white socks and a black trouser. Yeah, just some trousers, some boots, a t-shirt and a shirt. Shirt, there we go. Nice shoes. Do you think this is an appropriate outfit for work? Um, yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. I feel comfortable and um, I like it very much. So, yes. Yeah, but actually you can wear what you want. Can you handle the competition of being in a female working environment? Um, um, I mean, is there a competition? Okay, uh, first of all, I don't see it as a competition. I don't consider it a real competition. I, I don't think it's a, it's a competition, firstly. Um, it's quite nice. To be honest, for me, it doesn't matter if you're female or male. Um, if you're nice to me, I'm nice to you. How did you get to this position as a man? <laughs> um, what do you mean exactly? I, I, I don't see... How do I get to this company and, and as a man? Through hard work. I normally apply to this company. I guess because of my good application. How do you handle your emotions at work? Um, what kind of emotions do you mean? I don't handle them. We to joke about it. I quite open, um, transparent with my with my communication. Just getting into it and, and show my feelings. And how do you balance work and personal life? Um, how do I balance? I'll make a clean cut. I try my best now to mix the two. You know I do sports. Are you planning to continue working after having children? Yes. Yes. Um, of course, yes. I'm okay also being uh, like a, st a stay-at-home dad. For sure, I want to take like some time off. I would definitely take some time off for my children. Are you scared that being a working dad may negatively impact your career? No. No. I don't think so. Y yes, definitely. Yes, it probably will, especially in higher positions. What advice would you give other men in this industry? <sighs> Good question. Um, in general? Go for it. I actually don't know, for now. You have to be yourself and don't play any role. <laughs> have fun, enjoy life, but be respectful. Have you ever been asked any of these questions? Um, no. Well, most of them, no. Actually not. No. No. No, I didn't. No. Uh, no, never. <laughs> I mean, those are questions we don't get that often as men, so... Nowadays, it's not in all kind, in all jobs, in all companies, um, in that open-minded as as it is here. So, yeah, that's I can imagine that it's, that's not a comfortable situation. There is nothing that you can show and and do more to represent that I'm worth the job that I'm doing. It's very normal that women can be CEOs. Well, first of all, it must be really uncomfortable. It's no one's business. To, to ask how did you get into this position. There are always like big statements from people who have the feeling that they have to justify themselves in their positions. It's, it's, it's kind of a different light. I think I would consider them as normal questions when you don't put them in context. But if they're in context and you get asked, okay, why are you CEO and as a woman, how it is and what do you need to do to, to become this? It feels like, or it suggests that it's something unnatural, which is not.